So the question is, a clock takes seven seconds to strike seven. How long will it take to strike ten? How long will it take to strike ten? This is a simple logical question. Probably on clocks, but nothing much to do with the clock problem. Nothing much to do with the clock problem. See what happens is, olden days, we had clocks where at one o'clock it will strike exactly one. At two o'clock it will strike two. At three o'clock it will strike three. Four o'clock it will strike four. Five o'clock it will strike five like that. So what happens is, when the clock strikes for the first time. when the clock strikes for the first time we hear a sound then our attention or focus shifts there so when it strikes for the first time the time gap will be zero when it strikes for the first time the time gap will be zero then we see how many times it call how many time it strikes so what happens is it will strike for the second time third time fourth time fifth time sixth time and seventh time so what is happens is for striking the seven times means For additional six, it is taking seven seconds. Here, the time gap will be zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. After this first one, it is taking for six more times. For striking the six times, the time taken is seven seconds. So there will be six gap. The time interval will be same. So for each gap, the time taken is seven by six seconds. For each gap, the time taken is seven by six seconds. This is for each gap. Each gap, the time taken is seven by six seconds. Now what happens is the question is how long will it take to strike ten? So when we're going to strike ten, the first one will be zero again. Then this is seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I'll have three more gaps. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gaps. So seven by six into nine will be ten point five seconds. The answer is ten point five seconds. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding questions every now and then.